Hello everyone, this is Dragonold, and welcome to another episode of House Blood Hogwarts in Minecraft. And today it is episode 30, and this is going to be probably the last main tutorial I ever do on the series, excluding interior videos. Those are still going to happen, but this is probably going to be the last exterior tutorial. As for the greenhouses, they are pretty simple, and you can just join my Discord server, and I will help you out in there. But anyway, today we are going to be building the boathouse down here. And don't mind me, I am currently on my main Hogwarts map, simply because I already have the boathouse staircase and the landscaping done, meaning I can just build straight on top of the boathouse area right here. And you can just ignore my custom text bag. Everything here will be the default resources. And so one question you guys might have is how do I build the boathouse staircase? And that is a very, very good question because the boathouse staircase is probably one of the hardest things to build out of the entire Hogwarts map. And unfortunately, I am unable to do a tutorial on the boathouse staircase purely for the fact that everyone's landscape is going to be a tiny bit different. And the boathouse staircase depends very much on how your landscape is put together. However, to provide some help, I will put some blueprints on the screen right now and in the description below, which you can use to see how my layout is done. However, it will be up to you to figure out all the elevations and do feel free to join my Discord server and I will try to help you out in there. The link is in the description. And so once you have a place for your boathouse, we're going to come and place in our first few blocks. And so I have marked out this wooden block right here and that is where we are going to place our first block. Don't worry too much about this exterior area around here. You can just build the warehouse first and then add this in later. It's pretty much just a walkway going around the entire area. And then we're going to leave a two block gap and then place in two more blocks right here, just like this. And then we're gonna come 19 blocks in this direction towards the castle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, just like that. And then we're gonna come around and then come across 14 more blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we come back, 19 more blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then once again, a block here, a two block gap, and then a block right here. And then we're going to come up seven more blocks on all of these blocks along here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so we're going to repeat that on every single block coming around the entire layout. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're just gonna repeat that for the entire area. And so that will look something like this. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna come down here and come up one, two, three, four blocks, and then simply place in an archway using some smooth sandstone stairs. And then we will repeat this onto the other side again, one, two, three, four, and then the archway on top, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and just fill up the gap at the top on both sides, just like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up one, two, three, four, five blocks on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, and then fill in the gap between with a beam, just like this, and then place in a block here and a block here, and then a stair here, a stair here, a stair here, a stair here to create the archway into the boathouse. And then now we're going to build the main shape of the roof. And so come to this block right here and come up two blocks, one, two, and then come up three blocks, one, two, three, and then place in a slab on top. And then come up five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then come up six blocks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then place in a slab on top, just there. As you can see, we're going up at a one and a half block radiant all the way up for the roof. And then three blocks here, and then four blocks here, one, two, three, four, and then with a slab on top, and then six blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then finally, seven blocks coming out from the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a slab on the top. And that will look just like this, and then all we need to do is to just repeat this onto the other side. So come up six blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then a slab, and then three, one, two, three, and then come up six blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then place in a slab, and then this time come up five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then come up three, one, two, three, place a slab, and then come up two blocks, just like that. And there we go, that is the main shape of the roof now done. And then we do the exact same thing on the other side, this time just missing out the archway. So once again, come up two blocks, and then again repeating the exact same pattern, coming up one and a half blocks each time as we go up, just repeating in the exact same pattern as we did onto the other side. Thank you. 
And there we go, that is the second part of the roof now done. Of course, it is identical to this front section right here. And then finally, what we're going to do on all four sides is we can place in a stair here with a slab on top and then come down with some sandstone walls coming down all the way to the floor. And we're going to repeat that on all four corners. So again, over here, a stair and then a slab and then walls going all the way down to the floor, just like this. And then once again, the exact same thing on the other side. And so a stair here and then a slab and then walls coming down. Of course, I have a staircase in the way. If you do not have the staircase, you can just bring this down all the way down to the floor as well. And then finally, a stair, a slab, and then walls coming all the way down to the bottom, just like this. And then what we can do is we can just add in some light, and so we can place in a blackstone wall on top of both these archways right here, and then place in a torch on top, very simply, just like this. And then once you have done that, we can now start work on the roof itself. And so very simply what we're going to do is we're going to build in a very similar fashion to this slope right here, except just a few blocks lower. And so I'm actually going to use some deep slate tiles since I think they look really, really nice. However, of course, you can use whatever block you want for the roof if you want to continue with the dark oak. And so what we're going to do for the roof is we're going to build a line of slabs coming along from the slab right here, going all the way down the depth of the entire boathouse. And then place in a line of deep slate style blocks right next to it along here. And then on top, a line of deep slate tile slabs, just like this. And then very similar to before, what we're going to do is come up two blocks, and then a block, and then a slab, and then two blocks, and then a block, and a slab, and then a block, and a slab, and then two blocks, and then a block, and a slab, and then two blocks like this, to create the exact same slant as a sandstone, just one slab lower. And then all we're going to do is just continue this all the way down the entire length of the boathouse. And of course, it is going to be completely symmetrical onto the other side. So we can once again come down with a slab and then a block and then two blocks and then a slab and then a block and then two blocks and then a slab and a block and then two blocks and then a slab and a block and then once again, a slab on this block right here. And so then all we need to do is just continue this all the way down the entire length of the boathouse. And there we go, that is the roof added on just like this. And I gotta say, I do really, really like the look of the deep slate tile for the roof. I think it looks really, really cool. And it has the perfect texture for the tiled roof of Hogwarts, which I think is really, really cool. Maybe it is a bit too dark, but I think it is a very worthy block. And so with the roof now done, the only thing we need to add now is the tower at the front. And so for the tower, all we're going to do is we're just gonna basically break these few blocks right here, just like this, and then place in one, two, three blocks just there and then place in the block here and then come out diagonally another block and then place in two more blocks here and then come back one block and then break these three blocks right here just like this and come in one, one, two, three blocks just there and then another block here and then once again one, two, three and then a block here and then what you're going to want to do is just extend this cut sandstone down into the roof and so come down like this and then bring this one down all the way down into the slabbed roof beneath just like this coming all the way down into the roof just like this. And then replace these two blocks right here. And that just makes the tower look very much more flush with the roof that it is standing on. And then repeat the same thing on the other side, breaking the block here, coming down, and then do the exact same thing all the way down, coming into the roof. Just make it look a bit more flush with the roof below, just like that. And then what you're going to want to do is to just build up seven more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and do that for the entirety of the octagon that we've just built. And that will go on very simply, just like this. And then all we need to do 
it's just add on the windows on all four sides. And so these windows are going to be incredibly simple. What we're going to do is just place in three slabs along this line right here, and then come up two blocks with some sandstone walls, and then very simply place in a stair here, a stair here, and then two slabs on the top, just like that. And then what you can do is just smash out these blocks right here and replace them with some iron bars. And then what you're going to want to do is to just repeat this onto all four sides. So once again, three slabs, two walls going up, and then a sandstone stair, a sandstone stair, and then two sandstone slabs, and then smash out these two blocks for some iron bars, just like that. And so just repeat this onto the other two sides. And then the final thing we have to add is of course the roof on the top. And so build up a further three more blocks with some deep slate tiles on top of all the blocks in the main octagon. And then very simply place in some stairs along the bottom. So three here, one here, and then turn around 90 degrees, one here, three along, another stair here, turn around, block here, three more, block here, turn around, block here, three more, block here, and then turn around just like this. And then place in the block on the center of all four sides, and then a wall, a wall, and a wall, and repeat that once again on all four sides. And then finally, a three by three area behind all of these areas as well, just like this. And then once again, right here, behind all four sides. And then once again, a block on all four sides with a wall, a wall, and a wall. And then once again, you guessed it, a three tall area behind these three sections. Coming out three blocks. Just like that. And then once again, four blocks here, and then a wall, a wall, a wall, a wall, and then two walls on the top, and then three blocks behind, one, two, three, and then place in two more walls on top, just like that. And there you have it, that is the roof now done. And that is basically the entirety of the boathouse now complete, but what you can do is to just grab yourself some vines, which you can use to make the area look a bit more decayed. And so you can basically just place these wherever you want, but there is a little patch over here, and on this side of the tower, and then another patch coming down the front left face of the boathouse. You can place these wherever you want, really. It really does not matter at all. And so there we have it. That is the boathouse now complete. Of course, in this video, I did not show you guys how to build the staircase. That is really up to you on how you're going to deal with it. I would do a tutorial on it. However, since everyone's landscaping is going to be a bit different, it's going to be very difficult to make a generalized tutorial for everyone to follow. But as mentioned, I have left the blueprints in the description should you want to follow my design. Of course, the elevations are up to you. And if you do get stuck at any time to join my Discord server, either me or any member of my community will try their best to help you out. And so that is all for today's tutorial. And so thank you guys very, very much for watching. The next video will be the interior tutorial for the Grand Staircase Tower. And so that's all from me, and I'll see you guys then. See ya!